Today we are in a district in Manila called Binondo, which is home to the oldest Chinatown in the world. Manila Chinatown is well known as a street food heaven, so we came super hungry and ready to eat all the noodles, dumplings, desserts, and everything Chinatown has to offer. Let's go eat. Chinatown now and we don't have a solid plan of how we're going to eat our way through Chinatown but I did pin a bunch of locations in Binondo that look really really good so what we're going to do I guess is just to walk towards these pins and try whatever they have I think we're a bit on the outer side of Chinatown because it seems too quiet first stop tasty dumplings Sounds good to me. <laughs> oh, they have way more than dumplings here, actually. They have this pork chunk rice. Looks super good. Don't order too much because we're going to be eating a lot of food today. Okay. <laughs> oh, thank you. Look at the piece of pork chop. Wow. Copper the entire rice. <laughs> the size of my head. No, this is the size of my head. <laughs> wow, and it's like thinly battered. Oh my god. It smells like salt and pepper. Steamed dumpling. What's inside? Let's try it to find out. Pork. Pork dumplings. The skin is like nice and chewy. This is really, really, really delicious. Do you need to dip in the sauce? Yeah, the chili oil is really good. <laughs> this is a good start <laughs> to our Chinatown adventure. Let's try the pork. <laughs> Got a peel with my hand. Oh, wow. Super thin. So you're eating mostly like the batter, but is the batter delicious? Sure. Mm. The batter is really nice. This chili sauce to die for. So delicious. Cheers. beautiful it looks inside but there's actually a wedding going on so I think we don't want to <laughs> go inside but yeah it looks beautiful on the outside too okay one thing about the crosswalk here is super fast I think you have six seconds to cross and you have to wait 85 seconds <laughs> every time so we better be we gotta quick. You gotta watch it. It's like 10 seconds to go here. Here we go. Five seconds. We have five seconds. So we don't really have five seconds. The cars are still going. How is that possible? <laughs> Welcome to Chinatown. Now I think we're going to the main Chinatown area. <laughs> like the busy area. Just like many Chinatowns around the world, you will see that the buildings are fairly old. The wiring is pretty crazy and a lot of traffic. Welcome to the Philippines! <laughs> I think we're gonna try this one. Okay, inside veggie. How much is it? Uh, 70. 70. Hello! <laughs> love you! Bye bye! Love you! Love you, Philippines! They look so pretty, don't they? Yeah, look at that. But I don't know what it is. It tastes kind of garlicky and 
a little bit oily inside. I don't know why I thought it was going to be sweet. <laughs> Here, do you want to try? <laughs> I know why you can't explain what it is. I, 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 I don't know, it's so different. The taste, the texture is all different. A bit too greasy for me. So we're here at this place that sells Lupia. Lumpia is like a Filipino spring roll, I believe. It's really famous, so I think we should try it. He um, was speaking Chinese to me. He asked me if it's my first time here, and I said yes. And he said, oh, good taste. It's really good. He was trying to help me order, I think. He's so kind. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye He's really friendly though. He is a Filipino Chinese that's been living here in Manila for a long time. And there's a huge community of Filipino Chinese in Manila. <laughs> Let's try my first lumpia. You can see inside kind of exploded a bit. There's like a lot of carrots and cabbage. Maybe even like minced meat, I think. Mm, it tastes really clean. Like healthy. The skin is like very nice and thin, but it's just full of vegetables. This is like the healthiest thing we've had in the Philippines. We've been eating so much fried chicken. <laughs> this is really, really good. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> so that shop might be a little bit harder to find because it is down this alley and there is no sign at the top. The name of the shop is just at the bottom, but it is definitely worth trying. It's very different and I quite like it. Why is there a lineup for this place? Let's check it out. Which one key? We should try it. Let's do it. Oh, look. Feature on CNN Travel. Must visit. And what you should order is stick number five, made from bowls testicle. Okay. We're having soup number five. So we just sat down at Chuan Pi, which is the oldest fast food restaurant here in Chinatown. I ordered something kind of simple. It's Cha Bihan, which is stir-fried vermicelli noodles. And initially I wanted to go with the bowl testicle soup, but after reading the description, I changed it to meatball soup. So, stew balls. Yeah, yeah. stew balls. Oh. Okay, so tons of people order the xiaolongbao, like the steamed dumpling with the soup and the meat inside. They're quite famous, but we just had dumplings, so I think we're going to pass because we still want to fit in dessert. But they do look really, really delicious. I think I ordered it wrong. I, I wanted noodle soup with meatballs, but this is just soup and meatballs. It's perfect because I ordered way too much noodles. <laughs> oh wow. See, it looks bland. But it's actually full of flavor. It's quite delicious. Is it real avocado? It is. At least, yeah, look. It's real avocado. My new favorite thing in the Philippines. This stir-fried noodle is actually really interesting because it just said stir-fried noodles. It didn't say what type of meat or what is in there. And right now I can see like random like half a siumai, some type of sausage maybe. Oh no, I dropped the one prawn that was in there. It went on the floor. <laughs> Why is everything so flavorful? The food in the Philippines are like seasoned to perfection. They like their food like 
bold, salty. I gotta be honest with you though, when we first, uh, before we came to the Philippines, we didn't think that the food here would be good. We didn't know what the food would yeah. be like, to be honest. Although, this is like Chinese Filipino, but it's still part of the Filipino yeah. cuisine, right? We're gonna try our best to finish all the food and still leave some room for dessert. That was a lot of food, but I think we still got room for dessert, right? Yes, we just have to find it. So we were walking around for a little bit and we couldn't quite find dessert. We were thinking of something like maybe Halo Halo or some type of like the tofu dessert, but we couldn't find it. So we ended up going to Lord Stowe's Bakery and I believe this is a franchise in Manila. They are famous for these Portuguese tarts. It's really good though. It looks so good. So I think this will have to do for today, but I'm sure during our stay in the Philippines, we're going to try other amazing desserts. It's like an egg tart with like a puff pastry on the outside and on the top they put some sugar so they caramelize the top. So it's different from like the traditional egg tarts that I'm used to from Hong Kong where they don't burn the top. So do you have enough to eat today? I am so full. I think we probably are at our max. We cannot fit any more food. It's probably time to go home. It's always fun visiting Chinatown in a city though because you can really feel the culture and you can tell today that Filipinos love food. Mm -hmm. We hope you enjoyed this food tour with us today in Chinatown. Thank you so much for watching and as always, have a wonderful day. We will see you in the next one.